let's talk about the remote collection of physical devices. Brad or Mike, do you want to talk about this there? Sure, this is Mike. So for the remote collections of physical devices, we're kind of mentioning things like desktops, laptops, some cell phones. But what we're going to try to do is send a hard drive to your location. And on that hard drive, we'll have picked certain forensic software that's going to be good for uh, the scope of that case. And we'll ship that off to the client. When it gets there, we'll have the client execute kind of like a team viewer program, something to allow us to do a remote share into the network or give us access to that device if it's on a separate network, say like a home network. And from there, we can actually take over. And that's really the only help that we need to get started off in most cases. You know, I see here there's a bullet talking about manual observation by the forensic analyst versus maybe using an automated tool that's completely hands off. You know, what, what do you see that's out there and what's your recommendation? Is, you know, manual observation a good best practice? Yeah, absolutely. Anytime that the forensic analyst has oversight over the methodologies that are being used to collect the data, I mean, that's, that's the best way to be defensible, right? Because at the end of the day, who is the one doing the collection? It's the analyst. When we look at automated tools, automated tools aren't necessarily a bad thing in the hands of a analyst, somebody who's been trained and has lots of experience in digital forensics. And so, and this is one of the things that we like to point out, which is if you're looking for somebody to do this type of work, you really don't want somebody who hasn't been properly trained, who doesn't have enough experience, and who's just going to use an automated tool. Because as good as automated tools are, they're only as good as the people who have produced them. And from time to time, the forensic software can have bugs that the analyst who's been doing this job for a long time may know about. They may know the little things, the little gotchas that will stop a collection from going on smoothly. And so it's always good to have that forensic analyst involved from beginning to end. And that way, they can ensure that the data that they're collecting is collected in a manner that's going to be defensible for you know, a court setting, should it ever come to that. We can run our forensics tools. We can go ahead and grab the data that is important for our client, get that into a forensically sound container, which is going to be stored on that hard drive. And then the client will have the little tiny return slip inside of the package and they can once we're finished take the hard drive put it back in the packaging and ship it back to us and that way at the end of it we'll have secured the data correctly in a forensic manner that's going to be defensible and then it's also while in transit from the custodian to our labs it'll be encrypted and protected yeah and i think that that last point is very important so you know, the data is being shipped back and forth, but by setting up the remote collection kit and the hard drive data is gonna be stored with secure encryption. Even if that package were lost by the USPS, FedEx, UPS, or whoever's delivering it, no one's gonna be able to get access to it. It's securely encrypted and all the necessary precautions are taken on our end to ensure that that data is secure.